Hey, second grade art friends, it's Mrs. Herbe. Um, we are going to finish up our self-portraits this week. So what I need you to do is gather up all your parts and pieces. Um, you should have uh, your finished face, uh, your two hands, and hands and arms, okay? Um, you should have your uh, poster about yourself. And last but not least, you should have completed your I Am poem, okay? Now we're gonna put all of those parts together. And this past week, I sent home to you two pieces of paper. I sent you home one piece that is, um, it's probably either colored or white, that is nine by 12, um, along with a template that looks like this, okay? And then I also sent you home a larger piece of paper, 12 by 18. That's gonna be what we attach everything to for the background. But what I need you to do is grab the piece of paper that is um, the nine by 12, and then I need you to grab the template that I sent you that looks like this. And um, you're just gonna need a pencil, um, some scissors, and a glue stick. So if you wanna grab those things, we'll get started. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pencil and what we can do is you can line up this template on the bottom of, you can line it up on the bottom edge of your piece of paper, and then you'll just have a little bit on either side. And what you can do is just trace around this, this template, just like that, okay? Then you're gonna take your scissors and you're going to cut this out. So you're just going to carefully cut along the edges. And what this is, is this is going to be your shoulders. What I'm cutting right here now is your shoulders of the shirt that you have on or whatever other outfit you'd like to turn this into. And then this is the neckline. This is where your neck will get attached. And then is the other shoulder. Okay. So now when you have this cut out, then what's going to happen is we are going to be able to put this all together. So what you can do is you can grab your head for a minute and you can kind of play around with and you can kind of see um, if I lift my hair up, you can kind of see this is where, um, this is kind of where the neck fits in to um, the shoulders here. And so what you can do is now that you see this, you can kind of, um, you can add some decorations, you can add a neckline, you could add a collar, um, you could add uh, something to the front of the shirt. If it was a dress, you could put decorations. Um, and you can also think about, you could also put like, um, a line here, oops, sorry, you couldn't see that. Um, you could also put lines on either side to kind of show that your arms are coming down here, okay? Um, so go ahead and think about what you'd like to do for that. Um, maybe just uh, for fun, I'll kind of show you, you can draw a neckline. like that if you want to um maybe um, on the front of the shirt you want to put a design um, i might just put just for fun um i'm going to do this But you can think about any design that you want, and it doesn't have to be, um, whoopsie, I didn't want to go that far. Um, the other thing is, is you don't have to do something that looks like something. Like maybe you want to, over here, draw some designs on the sleeve of your, of, of your shirt. You can do that. Um, you can do really anything that you can think of. I'm just making this 
flower bigger and bigger by and it's okay if it goes off the bottom um, I'm doing just that and I think I'll do one more where I'm just making this I can't really see down there like that okay and then I might do the same thing over here with the sleeve okay um, but you can you can jazz it up however you would like. All right. Once you do that, um, you can add color to it if you'd like to. Um, the nice thing about this is you can use a variety of different mediums if you'd like to. Um, so go ahead and decorate your shirt how you'd like it. And then I will show you how to put this all together. All right guys, so now we're going to put this all together and I couldn't get my camera far enough away um, with the arm I have. So I'm standing on a chair, kind of holding the iPad up so you guys can kind of see how this is going to look once it's all finished, okay? Um, so depending on your the color of your background piece, it might either be white or it might be a color. Um, if you wanna grab that, you want that to go um, vertically on your table. And then um, you wanna grab your head and your poster and your two hands with the arms. Um, and I'm gonna kinda of show you, I'll show you step by step a little bit closer how to put this together, okay? All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we'll start with the head. And what you wanna do is you probably, um, your head can be sticking up a little bit beyond the top of your piece of paper okay and you want it to be roughly centered okay and so then what you can do is we're going to stick the head on um, with a little bit of it sticking up over the top so that we can fit all this on and then once we get the head on then we'll go ahead and we'll put the um the shirt um the shirt we'll glue the shirt down next but first we're going to do the head so i'm just going to um sort of turn the head over and if you happen to have longer hair and you want it I'm, I'm not going to put glue on the part of my hair that kind of sticks up but I am going to put glue on my neck and then I'm going to put it around the edges of my head and then along the inside part here okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of center it here and leave a little bit sticking up off the top of my piece of paper okay and then I'm gonna kind of give it a nice massage make sure it's sticking okay and then once that is done I'm gonna slide this up a little bit you have your shirt okay and if you're a guy it'll be easy to see your neck but if you're a girl you might just want to fold that up a little bit and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually overlap my shirt just a little bit over the neck um, just like that and then my hair comes back down and so what I'm gonna do then is now that I see how that's positioned like that then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and same thing I'm going to outline around the edges of all of this of the shirt and my shoulders and then I'm just going to give it some swipes in the inside part to get it really nice and glued down and then again I'm just going to lift it up a little bit so I can kind of see it's overlapping my neck a little bit and then my hair's coming down. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. And now, um, so go ahead and glue that down. And then we'll talk about the, la the final part um, after you get the head and the shoulders glued down. All right, guys. So for the last part, what you're going to do is you're going to take um, your left hand. So the finger part um, that moves is going to be on the right hand side on the outside part here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to slide this kind of um, onto the edge of your um, the poster about yourself like that. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side where you're going to slide this a little bit and the elbows can kind of be tucked out a little bit and depending on how much you can kind of adjust them a little bit um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of figure out where you want this to go in relationship to your shirt okay and if you don't have something on your shirt and you want the poster to be a little bit higher you can I want my poster to be a little bit lower because I have the flower on my shirt so you can be holding the poster really at any um, point, but we want um, when you attach, you want some of the hand to be covering up kind of at the bottom here where your sleeve is, okay? So I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually leave the poster on here on the paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the hand and the um, arm out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some glue around the outside edges of this, okay? And then as I'm holding this, I'm just gonna slide this back here um, and line it up to where I think I want it. And then I'm just going to massage it down like that, okay? And then I'm gonna go over to the other side and I'm just gonna slide this out. I'm gonna leave the poster there. And same thing, I'm just going to, you will not probably put glue on it while it's sitting on top of your poster because you don't want to get glue on your poster, but Mrs. Herbie's able to be careful and not get it on there. And then same thing, I'm going to kind of lift this edge here and then, and then I want my hand to be a little bit overlapping the sleeve there. Okay, so there is my hand you can see holding the poster now the poster is still going to be loose because we didn't glue that down so what you can do is you can kind of slide that out okay and we can put some glue around i'm just going to put it around this part here And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide it in under those fingers. So there's one. And then two. Kind of get it into position. There's a little bit, it's not sticking. Make sure it's nice and straight, okay? And then you can see I have the poster and then here I am holding the poster okay if you have longer hair and you don't like it kind of flipping up a little bit like that you don't you can glue it down I think it looks a little bit interesting to kind of have it like that um, and for some reason this finger right here sometimes when you glue something you might just have to uh, give it a massage um, and then the cool thing is, if you want to add any other details in the background, you can. Or if you like it just the way it is, just like this, um, you can also leave it like this. So it's totally up to you how you want to add the finishing details. Um, maybe you're holding your poster outside or at your favorite place. Um, or maybe you just want it to be kind of a, a, a nice plain background. It's totally up to you. Okay? So I hope you have fun finishing this up. I cannot wait to see them. If this is a little bit tricky and you need help, um, you can wait and I can help you on Thursday when we have our Google Meet. Um, but otherwise, I hope you have a great week and I hope you had a great spring break.